your emptiness is your true richness the more you empty yourself you will be able to fill your life with the one with the creator with the one who created everything so you will have the spring of all the riches when you are empty emptying has lot of power god emptied himself and became man and he was obedient until unto death crucifixion so that empty of oneself gives lot of richness in their lives and uh, the riches of the world more you have riches if you are rich here rich not only in, not only financially in your talent in your figure in your personality in your beauty in all the your knowledge everything if you are if you are rich there you can be proud your pride will deprive many things in your life and the best remedy for your pride is pain that's why st paul says speaks about a thorn in the flesh and god says my grace grace is suffice i'm not going to take that thorn away because it will help you to be humble the proud and the rich the first reading beautifully says how he punishes them with death famine and sicknesses and make them humble today the the rich young man couldn't follow jesus because he was too rich and jesus says truly i say to you it will be hard for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of heaven because too much it's it's easier for a camel to go through a eye of a needle than for a one who is rich to enter the kingdom of heaven eye of a needle what is what a such a small tiny hole how can a camel enter it's impossible my dear my dear friends you can never do that i mean with your effort you won't be able to leave things with your effort you won't be able to do away with your pride but with god nothing is impossible so when you are humble you can't even accept that you are humble the moment you say that you are humble there is pride in that humility that's why the one who is really humble will, will always say he is proud and pride the more you accept your pride you are made humble then this rich young man couldn't enter the heaven he couldn't enter the kingdom because he couldn't leave his property i mean he was so dependent there he thought he was looked after by his own money his own own uh, wealth and uh, that's how that's how he couldn't leave them for jesus but then he he, he never knew that he is a spring of every blessing and he lost the spring my dear friends jesus is speaking very plainly and says it's hard for a rich man rich one to enter the kingdom then peter spoke and said you see we have given up everything to follow you what then will there be for us god is saying you will have many you will have plenty the more you leave more you surrender more you will be rich you will be blessed with many things so you will have the one the, the spring of the waters you will have the one who provides are the things that he provides you will have the one who is providing and that's beautiful that's beautiful and he assures you of that promise so it's it's a difficult journey 
It's hard to let let go, yet you believe he will help you to do so. And once you are done, once you are free, your friends, once you are you are free, then you can free others also. And that's a kind of life that you are invited. And your pride will make you very selfish, self-centered. When you let go, you'll be you'll be loving everyone because you're selfless. That's why Jesus wants. Jesus is saying, your riches, your pride will deprive many things. But then simply have Jesus, leaving everything aside. Give the first, first and the blessing, and first and the best place to Jesus, and the rest will follow automatically. Think about it. May God bless you, and have a nice day.